guys, Sophie here and I'm at my stove right now because guess what? I am going to show you how to make an amazing bath melt recipe. These are lovely little buttery bath melts and they're to balance your hormones. So we're using some of my favorite butters and oils, very high quality as usual. And that's what I just love about my DIYs or you know any DIYs is that you can use these very high quality ingredients for a fraction of what the end product would cost in a store. So that's what's magical. Now, these bath melts made of these skin loving, these skin nourishing ingredients, once you plop one into a warm bathtub, it's going to melt and you can lie there just or your body is going to be inhaling and taking in the effects particularly of the essential oils now I've picked three essential oils which will really help balance your hormones so whether you've got PMS it's that time of the month whether you're perimenopausal during menopause or postmenopausal you know as women we always have these you know ups and downs of our hormones and so it's really great to have a recipe that you can use at night part of your self-care regime and really find those hormones balancing out. So this, my friends, is what you are going to need for this recipe. We are using evening primrose oil. This is full of omegas, skin softening and nourishing oil. We're using shea butter. We're using cocoa butter. And then I'm using three essential oils, ylang ylang, very nourishing, flowery, floral um, scent, clary sage, which is the most hormone balancing uh, essential oil out of all of them. I'm never without that oil. And then we have uh, rose geranium, which is extremely uplifting and is good if you're feeling really down, stressed or depressed. So what I'm going to do here, the only other thing you're going to need is you can put these, if you have little soap molds or even a little mini muffin um, pan, you can make it in that. I like to use uh, silicone because it's really easy to remove them. And of course, these are silicone ice cube molds. These are jumbo ones, so I'll probably only fill it half full, but whatever you've got to hand and um, is easy. So I'm basically turning the heat on here and um, I have here a double boiler, which well, is not a proper double boiler because I don't own one, my friends, or a bain-marie. All I use is um, a saucepan and I just put in about two inches of water and then I'll use a glass bowl um, like this. It's a, you know, a Pyrex bowl so it's not going to crack. And um, I'll pop that over the heat and you basically want the water just to simmer and then that's going to be enough heat to be able to melt these butters which is why we're doing this. So let, I'm going to put in here, we're using two tablespoons of shea butter. Shea butter is typically from West Africa and um, it's what the ladies there use to have, this, uh, to have their skin age so beautifully. Um, in a lot of communities, it's all well used, and that's pressed from the from the uh, shea nut right there. So that's the first one. Um, then I'm going to use cocoa butter, and cocoa butter again, beautifully for your skin, and it actually smells like chocolate. So I kind of like that. I love the scent of it when it melts in your bath. You get that sort of very faint chocolatey scent. And of course, both of these butters are going to give your bath melts a velvety uh, texture, uh, which is pretty lovely in your bath. Okay, so those are the butters. So they're melting away. And really, once you get going, it's just going to take two or three minutes for those to melt. Okay, so my uh, butters have melted right there and I'm taking it immediately away from the heat because you, you don't want things to get too hot when you're dealing with butters and particularly oils and particularly essential oils because you don't want to destroy the properties in them. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my evening primrose oil, this very, very nourishing oil. So let's add that in there. Again, all the amounts, links to all of these oils underneath the video. Now I'm going to add my essential oils 
So I've got my Elang Elang that's going in there. This one has a little dropper. So here's my Clary Sage is going in there. Love Clary Sage. And now I'm adding my Geranium. There you go. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into my mold here. And I'm actually going to, as I said before, I'm actually going to make these pretty shallow in here because you don't want to have too much. Uh, the bath melts, you want actually to be quite thin. So you want too much oil in your bath. So these jumbo molds, I'm filling not even, probably one eighth. There we are. So I get four of those, four bath melts. And you can always double up the recipe if you want to make a bunch of them for gifts or something. And now, my friends, I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator. It'll take about two hours to set up, and then we'll have a look at it. All right, so these have been setting up in the fridge for two hours, and as you can see, they've set right here. And I am just going to take one of them out. So easy with the silicone, because they just pop out like that. And that's it, that's your little bath melt. And then all you do when you're ready to use it Oh, it smells so good, is you just pop it in a hot bath and it'll melt and all the essential oils will be dispersed and you will be in heaven. So make sure you subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY videos and leave me comments, leave me suggestions for other um, videos and I will see you guys next time.